Hey everybody, this is Larry Everett with Massively OP, and you're watching a little show I like to call Spoiled Coffee. As everybody knows, Star Wars The Old Republic released its latest expansion, Knights of the Fallen Empire. And one of the biggest things that they say coffee has over the rest of Star Wars The Old Republic is choices actually matter. And so what I would like to do is show one of the biggest and probably the most spoilerific choice that you make within like the first hour of the gameplay. It's the same one that they showed at TwitchCon, but they didn't let anybody make that actual choice so that it wasn't live streamed. So I'm going to spoil it for you. And um, just warning, there is huge spoilers here. And uh, if you don't like spoilers, if you don't, if you want to find this out for yourself, do not watch. But I figured I would do everybody a service and show what actually happens, and give a little bit of commentary regarding why things are the way they are and why Bioware made this particular choice. All right, so here we go. Let let me do a little bit of setup here. What has happened is that Darth Maul has tracked down the Sith Emperor who has fled into wild space. And a wild space is a bunch of, as far as everybody knows, it's uncharted space on the other side of the galaxy. And there he, he tracks the Emperor and uh, they get into a big battle with this, this armada of Zakul ships. And in the process, you get sent over there. Whether when you, whatever character you play, you are the Outlander in this particular case, and you get sent over there. And during the battle, your ship, along with Mar Mar's ship, are destroyed. And somehow, although it's never explained really, somehow you survive, and so does Darth Mar. And you're in shackles, and you're brought before. The Emperor of Zakul, Emperor Valkorian. Now, spoiler alert again. I'm going to give a little bit of spoiler here. To, as a setup, um, what happens is that Mar determines, and you determine if you're a Force user, you determine that this is the Sith Emperor in another body. So, Emperor Valkorian is the Sith, Sith Emperor, and he then asks Darth Mar if he would like to follow him and kneel before him and all that good fun stuff and of course Mar refuses and Valkorian kills him I'm sorry all you Mar fans and there's nothing we can do about that no matter what choices we make previous to this scene you cannot stop Mar from being killed all right so here you are with the big choice Valkorian has everybody clear the room. Actually, Valen, his daughter, asks everyone to clear the room, and they do. She clears the room. Uh, the people that stay are you, Arkin, and Valkorian. And Valkorian says that instead of doing what he requested of Mar, which Mar was told to kneel before him, uh, and that he would serve, and that uh, Mar would serve him. Well, Valkorian says to you that he will become your partner if you join with him. And here's your choice. This is the big choice right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause my personal commentary and I'm going to show you what happens first. First, I'm going to show you what happens if you join him. So th during my first playthrough, I joined him and this is what happens. Your power is unquestionable. I've seen it firsthand. Our power together. Nothing could stand in our way. I'm ready. You are a fortunate outlander. I struggled for years, sacrificed everything. Even the life of my brother, trying to win such an invitation. You have done what I could not. In exchange, I will do what you could not. You've made your last mistake, father. Time will tell.
has assassinated our Emperor. Take her away. In my second playthrough, I played a trooper. This was a level 60 character that I just made fresh, although that's not exactly important in this particular case. And I made, on this trooper, I made the other choice. I chose not to follow Valkorion. And here is what happened during that choice. And I will come back after that and talk about, you know, what are the differences and why things happen the way they were from a storytelling perspective. I've seen the things you do. Sharing isn't one of them. You're a monster. I'll never join you. So be it. You came here to defeat him. This is your chance. First your brother, now your father. Does my ambition truly surprise you? You do not have ambition, only jealousy. That is why you fail. This is for all of the people you forced to suffer and die. So be it. As you can see, what actually takes place after the choice is made is different, but the ultimate outcome is the same. Valkorion dies, and you're put into Carbonite. This creates a kind of inescapable moment in time. It kind of reminds me of Doctor Who, whenever the, these instances have to occur and there's no way around them, you can't stop them. There's certain elements in a particular timeline that have to take place. And that's kind of what happens here. And this is kind of the storytelling that is made with every single Bioware game. This isn't exclusive to Knights of Fallen Empire. But I thought I'd mention this and, and show it. And, and I want to get your thoughts on this almost illusion of choice although there there are choices and I, I don't want to give the impression that just because this particular outcome is the same that there isn't going to be things that are different in your story versus somebody else's story these but these major events have to take place in order for the story to move forward and I'm wondering what you think about that what do you, what are your thoughts regarding the illusion of choice, the un inescapable events. What are your thoughts on the way Bioware tells a story? Is it interesting enough to make character decisions versus plot point decisions? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of this video. If you want to see more spoilerific videos and we could talk about some of uh, the different choices that are made in the game, how to you know, certain companions uh, will be sacrificed in the future or, you know, they'll go off or they'll leave or certain decisions that you make within the storyline will affect your character and the crew that he or she has. Be sure to follow Massively OP on Twitter at Massively OP. You can also catch us on YouTube, obviously, at Massively Overpowered. We are also on Twitch at Massively Overpowered, where we play all sorts of MMOs all the time, streaming, and, uh, of course, we are going to be streaming Knights of the Fallen Empire. If you'd like to give us some extra support, you can always pop over to Patreon, where we have some 
amazing perks that give you things like choosing what we do for the next Choose My Adventure, or maybe the stream team. What what games can they play? Let us. You can do that by going to Patreon.com/slash Massively OP. And again, thank you so much for watching this. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I am Shadow, S-H-A-D-D-O-E. And of course, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Catch you later. Bye-bye.